hey guys so welcome to any course productions and in this video i'll be showing you basically how to go ahead and root your galaxy s4 and um, this will only work for the gti 9500 so if you're running a us variant or some, any other variant of the galaxy s4 this will not work or i take no responsibility for um, in case you break your phone or anything like that this is only meant for the gti 9500 so uh, this is the international uh, as as they call it the octa core version so I recommend using it only for this uh, uh, this phone no other uh, uh, no other uh, device actually supports uh, the root as of yet at least this method uh, so uh, I take no responsibility in case you use it on any other variant and break your phone so uh, let's go ahead and move into the procedure so firstly the first part of this route is going to be installing the drivers for your uh, galaxy s4 so uh, you can get these drivers from one of the files that i've uh, left a link for in the description and this should be called samsung usb drivers for mobile phones there you can see th those are one of the two files that you will be needing for this route so go ahead and download that i'll leave a link in the description below and for the first part uh, what you want to do is go ahead and download it and install these drivers if you don't have them in already if you if you uh, used Odin mobile uh, if you used Odin in the past you probably have already got them installed or if you've rooted other phones using Odin or flash ROMs using Odin then you probably have them installed already so if not go ahead and install it it should take you through the regular uh, window setup uh, let me just go ahead and show you how uh, the interface you're greeted with so i double clicked it and it will ask you whether you want to run it so go ahead and hit yes and it should uh, give you a setup and ask you to run through the installation there you can see it's asking you to run through a regular window setup and uh, go ahead and run through the setup and i would recommend going ahead and reinstall uh, restarting your computer once the installation is done to make sure the drivers are pro properly configured so after that's done then we'd want to go ahead and move on to the part two of the route so for part two of the route uh, basically what you're going to do is go ahead and download the second file that i'll leave in the description below uh, and it's called uh, C O F F A C E underscore I ninety five hundred recovery underscore E N. So go ahead and download this file. I'll leave a link down in the description below as well. So just go ahead and download it, and you'll be greeted with a WinZip file. So uh, down if you have WinZip installed already, go ahead and right click and and click extract here, and it should give you a folder here. Uh, it should give you uh, all the files here. Uh, and now what you want to do is. Uh, go ahead and click on Odin and right click and then say run as administrator and it'll ask you it'll usually give you this dialog dialog box and go ahead and hit yes and this is what should launch uh, Odin 3 this is the program that we'll be using to flash uh, the tar file and what you want to do is firstly go ahead and make sure only F dot reset uh, time is uh, selected as, as well as auto reboot is selected then what you want to do is go ahead and take uh, your regular USB to micro USB uh, data sync and charging cable and plug it into your PC and take the other end and plug it into your GS4 so there you go I have plugged mine in let me just go ahead and unlock mine And if your drivers are properly configured, uh, you should uh, this uh, box here should turn blue. So just wait for it to turn blue, and uh, then we we'll, we can go ahead and flash the flash the tar file. And it usually takes a few seconds for it to recognize it. So so be patient with this. And there you can see it has turned uh, blue, and it should say COM4 there and there it should say added right there and now what you want to do is go ahead and hit the the PDA button here make sure only you hit the PDA button and no other and then go ahead and select the tar file and it should be in the same directory from which you launched Odin so go ahead and select that
and once you have selected that down there what you want to go ahead and do is go into download mode now in order to go into download mode what you have to do is go ahead and hold the volume down the home button as well as the power button at the same time so hold down the home button hold down the volume button and press the power button and don't let go for at least five seconds your phone should uh, turn off and start turning back on keep holding the power button until you see the Samsung logo and it should give you a warning here a custom OS can cause critical problems uh, in phone and installation applications if you want to download a custom OS press the volume up key otherwise press the volume down key to cancel uh, ignore this volume because we are going to root so press the volume up to continue there you can see uh, it's now in download mode uh, as you can see it gives you a few details about the phone here uh, but your 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 uh, blue box here should disappear and reappear uh, if your drivers are configured properly and there you can see it has uh, come back the blue box and again it should say added here and now what you want to do is go ahead and hit the start button that you see on the uh, bottom here hit the start button and once again I want to uh, make uh, tell you guys to make sure only F dot reset time and auto reboot is selected so uh, I'll just put this side by side to give you an idea of what happens on the phone and what happens on the screen so what I'm going to do now is hit start on three two one and I have hit start there you can see it it's uh, flashing and it should say pass if everything's gone well and it should say one succeeded zero failed here and your phone should automatically start to reboot there you can see my phone rebooting and for the first time usually uh, you might experience uh, longer than usual boot up time but uh, this is normal okay it was pretty quick for me so let me just go ahead and unlock my phone and let me go ahead and see if anything else is installed okay uh, I think this has uh, just flashed the clockwork mode recovery so now what you want to do is go ahead and unplug your phone so the phone is unplugged and now what you want to do is go into clockwork mode recovery uh, how you can do this is by holding down the volume uh, holding down the home button the volume up button this time and the uh, power button at the same time so uh, hold down the home button hold down the volume up button and then I press the power key and keep it held and again wait for the phone to reboot don't let go until you see the uh, Samsung logo and then you can let go of the power button And here uh, you should be greeted with clock mode recovery and uh, now what you want to do is go ahead and scroll all the way down to root your phone option and you, you need to use the volume up and down keys to uh, navigate so go ahead and scroll down all the way to root your phone and then in order to make the selection you need to hit the volume uh, you need to hit the power uh, power key so make sure root your phone is selected and hit, hit the power key and then what it should say is root done it should give you a list of options there that it just did uh, so it says rooting your phone please wait and then it should say root done and please uh, reboot your phone so go ahead and select the first option which is root your phone and you can once again make the selection by hitting the uh, power button so go ahead and hit that and it should reboot and now I'll show you just to make sure how to, uh, how to confirm that uh, root is enabled for you. So wait for it to reboot obviously. And this is by far the safest way to root your phone uh, that I have seen till date. And this is working on the i9500. I'm not um, taking no responsibility if you use this on any other variant. So just use it on the i9500 and you'd be good so now uh, just to make sure that root is working I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Play Store and download titanium backup root
So uh, I'll download this app since this is an app that requires root access. And go ahead and hit accept. And it should go ahead and download. There you can see it's almost done installing. And now what you want to do is go ahead and hit open once it's finished downloading. Now it should ask you for root access and there you can see it has successfully rooted. Now you can go ahead and grant root access and there that is the method uh, to make sure that your root is enabled. Uh, it will ask you to for that uh, root access uh, dialog, dialog box and if that works for you uh, it should you should be uh, able to grant it root access and if that works you, your phone is basically rooted. And yeah, that was a quick, uh, quick uh, video showing you how to basically root your phone. Also, uh, this Super SU app should be enabled. Uh, you should have the Super SU app, and it should ask you uh, the SU binaries need to be updated. Continue, continue. Okay, installation success, and there you can see. Uh, this is an app which, which allows you to control which apps have root access and which don't. So uh, this is another way of telling whether you have root access or not. So yeah, that was a quick. Uh, a quick video showing you how to root your Galaxy S4 and this is by far the simplest and the safest method. Uh, so yeah, thanks guys for watching this call. Peace out. And guys, if this video helped you, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Also, you can go ahead and hit uh, like my page on Facebook uh, if you want to do that. Also, you, if you have any problems or you want to contact me, you can either contact me via my Facebook page or go ahead and send me a message via YouTube. So yeah, thanks guys and as always, peace. So guys, if you want to check out my other Galaxy S4 videos, go ahead and click on the link below.